Um, yeah, there will be a change on the cult committee because so far we had a socialist chair. We will not have it anymore because the socialist lost. The PPE is asking for the chair of the cult committee at the moment, but that's not finalized. We will know uh, probably next week after the Strasbourg session or the week after because then the committees will start in Brussels in 10 days time. And then the new committee chairs and vice chairs will be voted and then we know who will be the leading persons on the cult committee. Um, and of course we have a new situation in the whole of the parliament because the two big parties, conservatives, PPE and socialists don't have the majority anymore. So they need the liberals or the greens to have a majority. Therefore they negotiate at the moment but tonight is the council in Brussels who will have the top jobs and um, probably tomorrow morning we know more. At the moment everything is open. In general I always think that uh, filmmakers and other artists have to speak out for their rights, for freedom of expression, for their especially artistic rights. Because now we had a situation, um, especially in Poland and Hungary, with the governments going against the complete rule of law. And the Orban government was indeed interfering uh, in the freedom of uh, arts for the theatre plans and other questions. That is what we cannot accept. And the European Commission was very clear against Poland that they are not ready to accept the weakening of the Constitutional Court. Now we have um, the European Court of Justice going against what Poland did. So at least on the political level, there is um, clarity. What are the European uh, laws and values about? But anyway, in the cultural life, um, because the European Union is based um, on the common treaties and the common values, uh, the minority rights, the freedom of expression, um, the freedom of the sexes, um, how uh, to decide how they want to live. And all this has to maintain because democracy is never granted forever. We always have to defend it. And um, in the current situation with Salvini in government, with the Brexit situation in UK, with what is going on uh, in Romania, there are a lot of things at stake and therefore not only filmmakers, we all as citizens, but of course filmmakers being intellectuals and artists with a, a huge impact on the public, um, they should defend their artistic interests for freedom and cultural diversity. Um, the new parliament um, has, has in general to defend uh, the rule of law because we have more right-wing people but um, from my point of view happily not so strong as some people were afraid before the elections. But in general, and I'm a Green MEP, what the parliament has to face and not only the parliament, the European institutions and the global uh, community we have to fight climate change and we have only 10 years um, to act according to the ICPP uh, to really be responsible politicians to avoid that uh, uh, the um, warmth of the globe will be more than 2%. So we have hopefully to bring it down to 1.5% and therefore we have to react now. It's not only the Friday for Future Kids on the streets to uh, ask us now really to take action. Um, I think um, the majority of the parliament has to understand that we have to react now because in 10 years time it will be too late. And therefore the question of ecological transform uh, transformation, how to rebuild uh, our industry, how to reinvent our way of living to make it sustainable and on the, at the same time to do it in a socially responsible way, that is the big task ahead of us. To have um, awards on the European level which make clear that we are committed and dedicated to cultural diversity is absolutely important. It's with film, it's with literature and it's with other arts. 
Um, and therefore, we made a lot of good experiences with the Prelux. Because with that, um, and the award is that the uh, winner film is uh, subtitled in 24 languages, so it's really um, bringing the films to the European audience. It's showing how diverse we are, that we enjoy 24 languages, but that we have a lot of common interests. We are different, of course, but we have a lot of common interests and common history and hopefully common future. And as Wim Wenders said, um, we have to tell us our European stories to understand where we came from, where we are and where we want uh, to go. And therefore film is so moving because it's a combination of pictures and music and stories. And a lot of people enjoy films because it's um, quite easy to understand. And therefore these film festivals like here and at other places and this uh, Prelux um, are a very good combination to show to our citizens why we are so very much dedicated to cultural diversity and to the European films and to defend our European film interest vis-à-vis -vis Hollywood, Bollywood and the others. So we should be proud Europeans to defend our own interests and visions of society. And therefore I hope the new parliament will understand why this prize is so crucial.